Hello everybody and welcome back to our Aston Villa Kajimo. This is episode 39. I hope you enjoyed the new thumbnail and yeah, as I told you yesterday, uh, today we're gonna simulate the game against West Brom. I think then we probably play against Man U. Then simulate like two or three more games. I think we play against Cardiff once in the league, once in the cup in the Euro League game. I think three games we're gonna simulate. And then we're gonna play against Liverpool. So let's simulate the game against West Brom at home with our second choice team. Not too interested in it. We start off with two wins in two league games, um, simulating the game against Sunderland with a 2-1 win and playing away against um, uh, Spurs and I did win this 3-0. So let's see if we can continue the one with starting off these with most going goal but they unfortunately get the equalizer and Fernandes is getting injured which of course not amazing. The bail for Fernandes quite early. Not sure how much time we do have to rest. Miaska of course also in touch or straight Straight away an amazing start, right now we're losing and we got two injuries, Amavi for Miaska and boom we lose at home against West Brom after we were winning as well and getting two injuries so it's basically just perfect. So let's just see them being injured for like months and yeah four months for Fernandes and uh, six, months, uh, six weeks for Miaska, so a great start for sure, 4 months for Fernandes, he just came back from his injury like a month ago after he was like injured for months, so I will change the squad with fast, um, but what the fuck is this, es especially because Oxford is injured and now Miaska is, it's just bullshit, this whole thing is just bullshit. Here we go, Wies Oxford is back from his injury and therefore of course I will put him now next to Konate in my second choice team, just because of course Miaska, I mean 6 weeks. Basically means he will be back maybe already in the end of this episode because we're going for four weeks Four and a half weeks So he might be actually back in the end of this video already not 100% fit, but at least back But as for now, let's put in Oxford um, Yeah, can't we really change it to be honest. I mean, of course we have to start with two fucking injuries All right, we're now gonna simulate the game against Cardiff away We had around two days to rest now this game Then we have a few days to rest for the EuroLeague game And then just two days to rest until the Man United game So I decided it makes more sense if I use my first choice court here And my second choice court then against um, Against uh, uh, Rosenberg I think in the EuroLeague Then my first choice team against Manu Then my second choice team in the Cup And then my first choice team against Liverpool So it just makes sense like this if this is not a win, I would be disappointed. Lozano scored the equalizer, Gendera with the goal, very nice. Please, of course, we have to concede. Fucking hell, man. We are dropping, losing against fucking West Brom after we're winning. And we are just drawing against Cardiff after we're winning 10 minutes before the end. It's just retarded, man. Look at our squad and look at their squad. How are we not getting a win? Here you can see our group stage. We have Rosenberg, I think, from Norway. Malmö from Denmark and Mainz from Germany, I think, at least. Mo Rosenberg, Malmö might be from Sweden, Sweden or Denmark, not sure, and I think Rosenberg is from Norway. I just know that they're all around this area, but i not 100% sure, but I would say Rosenberg is from Norway, Malmö is Sweden, Finland, no, not Finland, I think, Sweden or Denmark, I'm not sure, I will go actually with Sweden, I'm pretty on though. If you know better, you can really tell me, but I don't think, is there a Swedish league in this game? I think there is actually, but yeah, if you know better, you can uh, correct me. Second choice team, just making sure, yes, yeah, second choice team, I think, but he's fit, Oxford is back. Gonna simulate this game, we should be able to get through this real quick, but even if not, I actually really don't care about the Euro League. Funny, the board, if he um, would have been able to qualify for the Champions League, they wanted me. I don't understand why this is always taking so long. If we um, would have been, uh, they also um, lost in the qualification for the Champions League. If we would have qualified for Champions League, they only wanted me to like get into the quarterfinals, I think. Which is normally like quite not quite a low goal for um, a FIFA 17 where you always have to like win everything for some reason. But they want me to actually win the Euro League, but it's low priority, so it's not important. For the men's with the first, Pulisic with the second and third. Amari from Oxford doesn't really make sense, but I don't really care. Hopefully though, because he played one full half here, he will still be fit. Then Billy got in and scores, uh, scores the fourth, so a decent 4 0 win. We only have to hope that Amavi, because he got subbed in very early for some reason, is fit. Because we just, as you can see, have two days rest to play against Manu. And of course, I really would like to use him. Alright, the first out of two games we're gonna play today is at home against Manchester United, who didn't start that amazing into this league. Of course, they have an amazing team. They won against us once 3 um, 0 or something. And I don't know if you ever won against them before. They're playing with Freshford, so they, they still have Ibra, they still have 
um, Lacazette and Benzema, I think Aubameyang as well, and of course they just signed Icardi, and then they're playing with Rashford, I just don't understand. Marta and Sonsi Snedalin, uh, yeah, it's a decent squad, nothing too special, I would say. Anusai, not, Anusai, not sure how high rated he is. The only player I'm really scared of is Martial, because Martial is like high 80 rated and can do everything. The only player I'm kind of scared of. And of course, it's the first game of Gabriel in the center back position. It's his first game because we also, oh no, it's his second. We simulated the game against Karl of our first choice squad. So the second game for him, the first time we are playing with him. I again forgot the kit number, I think he has the kit number 24 or 26. So of course I'm gonna change that as soon as I remember. And we'll give him number 4 I think then. And I think the Miaska's kit number will also change. Gabriel with bad defending against Rashford, but thank god he misses the shot. Marta with the pass through, Gabriel can't get there, another save, what the fuck, how did we not concede? Another 1v1 for Rashford. First a save, so what the fuck, like... Okay, we lost the ball in a stupid way, then first the save, then the post, and then he just misses. Okay, decent start, 10 minutes played, and they already had two big chances. Thank god we did not concede an early goal. Look sure with the cross, what is that, defending Rashford with another chance. I don't understand our defending yet, our defending is really bad. When we have 60 minutes in, they had like 3 for good attacks, 3 big chances. Ah, our defending yet is really bad. They're completely dominating us. We can't get the ball. We can't do shit. You see how easy they're going through? Okay, they make a bad pass this time. I mean, if they wouldn't play with Rashford, but maybe Ibra or with like um, Icardi or whatever, I guess this would be a 2 0 already. I'm sure this would be a 2 0 win already for them. God fucking damn it. We really have to improve our defensive play. Mmm. What is our defending? We can't. We haven't stopped them once yet. I feel like every time they tried to go and sh uh, get a create a chance, maybe score a goal. Every time they were able to create a chance, they are just they are just a lot better. They are playing on a whole different level yet. Pembele, when we won against Luke Shaw, he should be faster than him. He isn't though for some reason, but he gets the ball back. Some of the balls at Werner's foot. Uh, I'm not sure why he missed that. If he got, I have no idea actually. It, da it didn't look like he really got tackled by Luke Shaw. God damn it, Timo! We really got dominated in the first half. He played a bit better in the end, but nine to one shots in the first half alone. Five to one shots on target. They have more ball possession. They're winning the tackles. They are just a lot better. Masia well, can just run the plot from I think Mata again. Really close. Fucking got again and not a goal. I don't understand how we still have a clean sheet. I mean, I do understand because they can just not finish for some reason. They could have scored three, four, five goals against us. What the fuck? They can't. You have to be fucking kidding me. All these chances they're missing now are big on Lewandowski. I told you they have like they have Lewandowski, Benzema, Icardi, Ibra, Rashford. Does make sense. And then I don't know, man. Our new signing is just a retard. Alafond is a retard as well. Like, they are both a retard. Gabriel is... I mean, this was very bad replay. We'll show you again. But, like, Gab Gabriel and Lafond are retards. Because Gabriel, instead of leaving that... I mean, I asked him to shoot away because he should be able to. I don't understand why he's doing this shit. And what is Lafond doing? What is this? It's even better to just leave it because Klosterman can leave. This is the worst thing Lafond can do. So it's for me even the worst mistake because Gabriel is just not hitting the ball, it's a technical mistake. But what Lafond is doing is way worse because that is just a stupid behavior, that is just being retarded and giving them the goal and fucking Lewandowski scores. Fucking hell man, I mean it's deserved but this is wh why I'm always raging, this is why what I always say. Can we not just please once concede a normal goal whenever the opponents, my C the CB, what the fuck, look at my team man, they are complete retards. I mean, every time we could concede a normal goal, they have a decent attack, my opponents could just go a normal goal, like the first few, like three four attacks they had, they they don't, but when we concede a goal, it's always retarded, of course now Tunnel Lewandowski, they will win easily again, well deserved, but I just don't like the way this goal happened, and fucking Lewandowski man, they have five big six seven strikers, are they fucking killing me? What is wrong with them? And then you ask yourself, how the fuck is Stoke City winning the league? And they are not even close. How the fuck can this happen? 
Look at their fucking team. Look at how they are playing. I never before. Oh, I just once before got um, got controlled and like um, uh, dominated like this before, and that was yes in the last season, the first match day, uh, the first game in the league against Man United. Man, Man United is the only team who can dominate uh, do, uh, dominate, uh, dominate us, sorry, like this, and they're playing amazing. Have these players? How the fuck are they not winning the league? I just don't get it. Of course, they also bring on Pogba. Somebody please tell me why EA is so, uh, so retarded. First of all the signings, but second of all, Rogba on the bench, and on bench, they're all on the bench. Why do you think, oh they was injured, why do you think the CPU should put a uh, play with Schneiderlin and Nzonzi over Pogba, should play with Rashford over Lewandowski? Please explain me that. Sano, Stendera with space, Stendera with the long shot. Okay, at least something. De Rado with the save. Five minutes to go. We still need two goals. Maybe the corner. We can do score off the corners. What a save by De Rea. Head it back. Dembele is going away from the ball. Ah, uh, good chances there to maybe actually still do something. Herrera as well on the bench. Uh, this just does make sense. Dembele, look at Lozano. If he scores that, we might have a chance. At least score that we don't. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Let we at least go a goal and not like lose okay, without scoring, but yeah. Today everything was shit. Our defending was shit, um, our thinking was shit, our goalkeeper was shit. And, uh, not shit, but not really good. <sighs> on the one side it's well deserved, on the other side I'm really angry still at the first goal. Because I feel like if we don't concede this first goal we might actually do something. And we can concede the goal, that's fine. But not like this, just not like this. Fuck's sake. Well, right now we got a tour against West Brom, a loss against West Brom, a tour against Cardiff, and a loss against Manu. We got one out of fucking nine points so far in the league campaign. So it's not really the greatest of episodes yet. If we at least win against Liverpool, nah, at least kinda decent. Andre is going up, improving, marking, long pass, Bogotwal, uh, tripling, and stamina. I just want to improve him twice. Or two more times, and also Lafont next banning should be able to improve his kicking and his overall to an 85. And I think afterwards I will train our new center back. I'm not um, not um, Gabriel, but uh, I forgot his name. This um, Gunnar dude. Backup squad now playing away, uh, not away, but at home against Cardiff in the EFL Cup. Don't really care about the cup. We lost against, no, we got just a draw against Cardiff um, in the league game. Now, of course, this one I would like to win. Police scored the goal. Uh, Oxford with yellow card. Please, just, just nobody getting injured. That would be fine. Werner already playing. That's too early. We scored, but we just have two or three days to rest for the next game, and I want to use him there. So, don't like this early substitution. Would love that even if you simulate games, you could somehow yourself decide for the substitute so you yourself don't make substitution except of when you so I uh, know the CPU is not doing substitution themselves only you can like pause the game and make substitutions because I don't like the substitution they are doing because 95% of the cases they don't make sense they're being on a right back for like a striker or a striker for like cam or being a right back in a center back position or whatever or being on players who are tired or players I want to use in three days Liverpool, actually with 5 games played, we can have a first look at the league table. West Ham right now winning everything, or winning 3 games, not lo uh, losing yet. 11 points, Leicester with 10 points. Manu, Liverpool with decent points, yet 8, Stoke, decent enough. Everton is doing shit again, and of course, um, Chelsea is also doing quite shit. Man City is doing shit, so 7 points, 2-1-2, two, two is not too bad. Considering we played against Tottenham and Manu already, so we played 2 out of these 5 games against some big opponents. But if we don't win against Liverpool, I would be disappointed. If we win against Liverpool, half of the games were against big opponents. We did get three wins, one draw, two losses. I would be happy enough with that. Not like extremely happy, but 10 points out of six games against big opponents. I would, uh, I would accept it. I would not be unhappy. But we do want to win. I don't want a draw, I want to win against Liverpool. Nothing than a win would make me happy. They are playing with Klein, Matip, Sako, Moreno, Karius, Leva, Carvalho, Stewart, Mane, Origi, Coutinho. So their team still didn't change. The only signing I see is William Carvalho. But 
it's somehow it's I mean on one side it's a decent squad, on the other side they have amazing sentiments, they have Emre Chan, they have Milner, they have um, Firmino. These players are still playing there. I I think Sturridge as well, but I'm not sure about Sturridge. But what I 100% know is that Firmino, Emre Can, and uh, I forgot Milner are still playing at Liverpool. So why are Carvalho a CDM, Leva a CDM to centre back, and Stewart a young player playing in the midfield? Play with Carvalho, Emre Can as like a, a box to box, and play with Firmino behind Origi or something. I, I, it doesn't really make sense. But I don't have a bone for that because. Um, for me, it just means their midfield is a bit worse, and uh, that's especially very nice after the game against Manu, where their midfield just completely raped the asses, um, asses of our midfield. Like we had no chance to, for any kind of ball control. So this is gonna be probably a bit nicer, and yeah, we wanna score some goals and wanna win this game. Mm. Ah, oh, this defending, guys. Oh, I actually forgot the kid number. Forgot the kid, uh, forgot the kid number, fuck's sake. Hopefully I can remember after this game. If not, then I will ask you again. What the fuck is going on? Can we please clear it? I, why, I did not ask him this dude to pass it, to be honest. I asked him to shoot it away. Oh, this is not really the greatest defending ever. He can easily go around to good block, but once again we can't clear another good block. Fuck's sake, man. This defending is just, is just a mess. Oh, oh, this defending is just so frustrating. They are just stupid, that's the thing. Their positioning and stuff is good, but they just can't clear a ball for fuck's sake. Things are just shit right now. Things are really... Look at this fucking hell, man. What an effect. It's just unbelievable. Just... It's 3v1. Like three defenders against one Liverpool attacker, and we have the ball, and we still give the, uh, he still has a chance because we give them the ball, and nobody's defending. To I don't understand, man. I really don't get what's going on with my team today. It was decent. Uh, finally, a decent clear, man. Okay, Werner passing it through to Lozano. That worked out. Lozano with a chance. Oh, the post, Werner. It's Neves, not Werner. Oh, finally we scored just before of time. Very decent attack there. The pass from Werner amazing. The actually really nice from Lozano as well. Under pressure with the first touch and the goal. And then it's Ruben Neves, who else? Who just never stops running, always is tackling, winning every tackle and then scores it. One no, I would not I would say it's kinda deserved. You played better, we just were not able to have this one chance. Create this one chance. But there we were finally able to do. And we do score. Thank God. Ruben Neves. Okay, let's keep the clean sheet please in the second half. Or maybe even score a second, and then I would be quite happy. I'm not sure if even one of... I think Werner scored once a day after he got subbed in when I simulated. I think, except of him, the top three, so like Dembele, Lozano, and Werner did not score yet. And we played like four or five league games or simulated. So, quite disappointing performance yet in this month from these three. And this is the great start of not considering goal in the second half. Their right back Nathaniel Klein scoring straight away. It's just our defending is a mess. Our midfield is is okay, I guess today, and our strikers are shit. Ah, Corner's good. Diab not winning it, but Werner passing back to Lozano. Lozano with the shot. What a shot! What a shot from here, Blingisano. I just have to tell you that these three are not playing too good. Lozano, the only one who is playing at least kind of decent. At least he was the only one with a chance against Manu when the OM um, had a chance here. He missed them both, but then this shot. I mean, Werner with a very nice assist. And this is, of course, an amazing replay, but it, it's like he touched it and then half volleys it into the long post or short post. I don't know. Amazing finish here, Wing Lozano. Decent response to considering the equalizer 2 1 for us. Ah, fuck's sake, Emre Can getting subbed on. This is why I don't understand why he's not playing Firmino as well. Menu for some reason, playing with other players and then bringing on players like Lewandowski, Herrera and Pogba. And they are playing with shitty players and then bringing on Emre Can, Firmino and stuff. Amazing shot by Emre Can, you can't do anything against it. Or about it, yeah. 72 minutes played, the equalizer, very bad, we defended decently. Once make a mistake, boom, go. <sighs> ah, things are not perfect right now. I'm not sure why, but 
our defending, our attacks, everything is quite bad, but maybe Dembele can straight away answer, please! Okay, at least we are answering, at least we are scoring the goals. Uh, Timo Werner with his second or third assist already, he is you not know, second assist, I think. And this one, yeah, Timo Werner making the assist, Dembele with an amazing finish, 87 finishing, this is what I expect from him to score these chances. Okay, at least we respond in a good way, so that we are scoring again, we are... Uh, winning 3-2. Come on guys, 50 minutes. Just let's not concede, please. Just please. Let's not concede. Just get these 3 points so I can end this episode in quite a happy mood. Come on Werner, win the header. Nice to Lozano. That was perfect. I will go park the bus. But he might have a chance here. Lozano, who is helping? I see Werner in the middle. The pass to Werner. Werner with a good first touch and the finish. And this is what I want to see from these dudes. Lozano, Werner, Dembele, this is why I say it's probably going to be a lot of the fun because they all have pace, they all can finish and shoot. Perfect finish, uh, perfect passes by Dem uh, Werner today, now a perfect finish. Lozano with a goal and an assist now. And this first goal was also kind of his assist. And Dembele scored as well. Finally, things are working out. 4 to win. Today we finally showed what exactly we can do. Our defending wasn't the greatest once again. It was not It was a lot better than against Manu for sure. But... Especially our attack really showed this game what he uh, what it can do and why I think in this season We should have a lot of fun too much for the end 4-2 This will be a win just um, let's go through by next few minutes without conceding another one Maybe I'm scoring fifth maybe but at least not conceding one nice. We got it three points a decent enough episode because of it therefore we of course only got um, yeah, let me think. I think four points. No, wait, I can't remember. We lost against Manu, we lost against West Brom at I think four league games and we got four points. So it's not the greatest episode ever. But it's decent enough. Lafon should be able to hit the 85 waiting this training. He is doing so, kicking up and therefore 85. I will give these two shots as I told you to the defender, the center back. There you go, I actually told you probably already in this month. And then it basically the message told you in this month um, he might be back. So, um, Miaska. And then it basically actually happens on the last day of the month. It's just funny. Yeah, last thing I will do is show you the games of the next episode. Not sure if I will continue with this career mode or if I will go to and play some um, AC Dadel again. Not sure. But in this, we will simulate the games against Marvel, against Mines, and against Hull. We will simulate the game against uh, Menu. So, what I think is we will go for the full month again, simulating against Marvel with our second choice team. Yes. We will play against uh, Newcastle with our first year's team, simulating against um, Hull with our first year's team, play, uh, simulating uh, the game against Mainz with our second year's team, playing um, the game against Arsenal with our first year's team, and simulating the game against Menu. So, again, four games simulated and two games played. I think this makes sense just because I don't care too much about the U League. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, then please smash a like button. That will help me out quite a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel, why not subscribe if you want to see more? I hope you enjoyed this, I will see you tomorrow, there's nothing I really want to ask you and now I can actually remember, I just wanted to think, I will change the kit numbers, I now just remembered, we'll change the kit numbers so you don't have to remember me um, anymore, yeah, um, there's nothing I really want to ask you, so if you want to tell me something you can do, except of this, just have an amazing day guys, and bye.